lockdown hairstyle. Look. It's beautiful. It's better than mine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about the escape. And I was thinking about it the other day. To put a theatre, an art centre, into an old church is the worst idea ever. And lots of people are doing it. And I've toured myself in places that used to be churches. And it's wrong. It doesn't work. You've got the auditorium and it goes up like that. And it's narrow. It's long and narrow. The whole, the whole architecture is wrong. That's another motorcyclist breaking the lockdown. Off. And the thing about the Eastgate, when I saw years ago, this is going to be our new theatre and our new art centre. And it was this whole church. And I, I just moved in, so I didn't know anything about church. And I saw, I thought that is the worst idea. Purpose build one. Have proper dressing rooms, have a proper auditorium with good space backstage. And it's comfortable for the churches don't work. And I still think they don't work, but the Eastgate just does. And the reason for that, I think, I think, is that the staff, the performers, and the audience to an enormous extent, have just kind of nudged it into shape and sort of, you know, maneuvered it. Mm. And with the money that's coming in, hopefully, with all the refurbishment, there'll be more and more of that. But it's take, it's been slow. It's been very slow, too slow. But we're in the borders, there's not much money about, especially for a little art centre in Peebles. But what's happened is that I think that the theatre, the art centre, I keep calling it a theatre, the art centre, has made itself a real centre of that sleepy market town. That's what it was when I first arrived. Mm -hmm. Peebles, yeah. Now you have, you've got, at times an extremely vibrant building that's nudged and edged its way and made itself it's like sitting on this chair you kind of adjust your buttocks to go. and that's how people have adjusted to that space it still doesn't work in many parts there still isn't enough room for the actors there's still not enough room backstage and i don't know how that's going to be remedied uh you you walk up these stairs and you're suddenly on the stage without, uh, there's no preparation room that you need to prepare. There's no, there's none of that. Uh, you, you wallop straight on. Um, but it's, what it's done is rooted itself very firmly within the town of Peebles. And you've got the outdoor festival, you've got walking festival, you, all those things that are an intrinsic part of Peebles with its history, it's, ge it's geographically right. It wouldn't work anywhere else. That's why it's unique. It wouldn't work in Windermere or Air. It works in Peebles because it's firmly rooted within that community. And there's this huge sort of series of stalks growing up. And then you've got this flower, which is budding. And that's the growth that comes from bringing things in from the outside, all the performers that come in. And there's a kind of osmosis between the local population with all its history and its experience and its wisdom joining in with these people from outside and you get this great flower and i like that i think that's what the east gate's about that's a lovely way of describing yeah it. i think that's that's the know, only way i can describe it sometimes when there's a show on in the theater people come a long way yeah just just to exactly because a lot of those performers they won't perform anywhere else it's a perfect space for them that, that they can play to what 150 people mm -hmm. on average a, a few more now on the sides and um if you sho shove them those same performers who have every right to be in somewhere like the usher hall or somewhere big like that in one of the major cities in, in scotland it wouldn't work you lose that you lose that intimacy that's what it can do is create that intimacy and when performer and audience work it is a unique experience anywhere in the Eastgate. There's something interesting going on. Yeah, and it's accessible. I like the fact that if you can work out how to get in, you know, I'm pressing that 
button. <laughs> and the thing is, if you if you stand there for five minutes, someone will help you. They'll come out and help you. But you can get in, and the cafe staff are lovely. They're really nice. They're cheery and lovely, and uh, it's accessible. So if people have never been in there before, they can try out the coffee, which ain't bad. It's not the best, but it ain't bad. There's nowhere you can get the best unless you cross a water and go to somewhere like Switzerland or Germany. But that's beside the point. Um, and then go upstairs. And uh, I hate the word support because I think it support your theatre. I hate the word support. It reminds me of corsets and stay, yeah, holding everything up. Uh, just go there. Just go arrive be there be part of it just feed your curiosity pick up one of them programs because they're so varied there's so much difference going on it's not all the same thing by any means and some of it's crap some of it's fantastic some of it's somewhere in between i've seen some crap shows there but i've seen some fantastic stuff there that's part of the specialness though. exactly mm -hmm. and if it's crap you just put it down to experience really but the chances of you seeing something good are are pretty high i think that's all i'm going to say <laughs>